Welcome to Leveling Up the Podcast with Alethea Tucker. I'm so happy that you're listening today. My goal is to bring something new, something promising. I plan to bring conversation, resources, and wisdom around the things that are holding us back from going for our best. We'll talk about everyday life and careers. I'll bring us dialogue designed to dig deep and identify our passions. We'll talk about the limits that you need to let go of and the promise that you need to grab a hold of. I'll interview women who bring valuable insight to the table. We'll have opportunities for Q&A and we'll talk resources to help along the way. There are levels to this and we'll hit them all starting at the ground floor. We all have dreams and now is our time to level up. Ground floor. I remember when I was in college and working at the library, there was someone who worked along with me and she was a student as well, a couple of years behind me. And she suffered from something called brittle bone disease. She was frequently in a wheelchair. And I remember her always just being the happiest of people, always had a smile on her face. I also remember an older woman who worked there. Well, to me, she was older at the time. I may differ at this point. I would say she was probably, I don't know, (laughs) middle-aged. I remember that she was also an incredibly happy person, frequently spoke of her children and the things that they did on the weekend. I remember I came in one week and was told that this person's husband had suddenly passed away. Not ill, no reason. It was just his time and he passed away. To say the least, she was totally devastated. And some weeks later, she came back to work and she wasn't her usual jovial self. My other coworker, the younger lady who was in a wheelchair would frequently talk to her and and try to try to boost her mood in, in so many ways. She would bring her treats that she knows or that she knew that she loved. And she would frequently do some little extra tasks around the library that really nobody wanted to do, but she knew by doing them, it would make my other coworker really happy. And we all, of course, tried to boost this lady's mood. And sometimes it worked and sometimes it really didn't. But we noticed something over time. The young lady who was in the wheelchair really had quite an effect on the older lady who had lost her husband. And after some time, they had really, really started to bond. They talked about so many different things. We would overhear them at lunch and the older lady would be imparting wisdom to the younger lady who was really so naive in so many ways, I recall. And the younger woman who really seemed to frequently have low self-esteem at times, she would somehow manage to not show any of that when she was talking with the older woman and really provided encouragement for her. (laughs) I watched their relationship grow into such a beautiful friendship. This older woman consistently imparting knowledge to this younger girl who had a disability and was so able to bring light to this older woman made me think of scripture that talks about the responsibility of the older woman, the older women really sharing wisdom with younger women. That was the first thing I thought about when I witnessed their relationship and just how important being able to do that is. My audience is are women 45 plus. However, I know that we have so much to learn from the younger generation, because they too will become us at some point. And they keep us young and they keep us current. And we can impart wisdom to them so that as they grow, they perhaps will make mistakes, but 
not have to suffer through some of them as we have. So I know that I have a responsibility, a responsibility to younger people, just as they have a responsibility to us. And I have determined that I will do whatever is possible to make sure that whatever I impart, whatever I do, will bring wisdom, will bring knowledge to those women behind me. So my affirmation is, I know that over the years I've hit bumps, I've hit speed bumps, I've hit closed doors, I've hit broken windows, I've hit elevators that haven't always moved in the direction that I desire for them to move. And I know that my knowledge and the lessons that I've learned along the way are not just for me, but they're also there to encourage those behind me. So I say that I will be there for the women behind me. Yeah, the younger women. And I will encourage them in every way that I can. And I will also encourage them to help us. Yeah, we older women. So that we can help one another to be better in life, to be knowledgeable in life, and to be our absolute best selves. Main level. Hi. Hello and welcome to Leveling Up the Podcast with Alethea Tucker. I am still here today, the third day of the Authors All-Star Conference. And with me, I have an all-star author today. I have Miss Patera Williams with me, and she has written a book. But before we even get into that, I just want her to tell us a little bit about who she is. And I know you're going to enjoy what she has to say to you so much today. So welcome, Katera. I'm so glad you're here. I'm excited. I'm very excited to have you. So tell us a little bit about you. What is it that I know that this is your first book, right? Okay. So what else is it that you do in addition to your book? Is that your main thing right now? Right now, this is my main thing. I'm actually working on a business called Not All Wounds Are Visible. Mm. It's a terrible day enterprises, so I'm trying to get that together. Okay. My book actually just came out in May this ah, year. It's a brand new author. Yep, brand new author. Yes, awesome. <laughs> well, tell us then a little bit about your book and what prompted you to write this. Well, actually, my book is called From Broken to Healing. Here's a copy of it. Um, it actually started out as me journaling about my life, like you know, mm. you just sit there and be like, This is my diary, this is what happened to me on this day. Yes, so yes. it actually it took me three and a half years to write it. So did you take your it, time? Yeah, when yeah. it finally when it finally when I finally finished it, I was like, Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Right. Am I just supposed right. to like is this really supposed to be happening? Uh-huh. So it did I got it published of course through Amazon. But Teresa said right. No Amazon, no Amazon. So we learned what what to do. So no Amazon. So yeah, it came out May first of okay. this year. Oh, that's my birthday. Oh, that, that's a special that's day. A good day. Yes, it is. Um, you said what is it about? Yeah, what's um, it about? It's basically about my life. Okay. I just turned twenty five. Probably two week, two or three weeks She's ago. So young. Yeah. Not our typical riser audience, huh? <laughs> riser. Uh, we talk about my risers all the time. My right. audience are really women, forty-five and plus. Mm-hmm. However, women like you are the women that we mentor. You yeah. know, so um, and we can impart so much wisdom yeah. because we've been where you are a little while ago, maybe. Right. But we can still impart so much wisdom and. Talking to people and authors such as yourself at your age helps to keep us aware of what's going on and helps to make sure that we're staying tuned into the things that we need to stay tuned into. So we keep y'all hip and y'all That's right. There you go. (laughs) And let me tell you, I need some help with being hip. Trust me. (laughs) Trust me. (laughs) And that's wonderful. First of all, let me commend you for being so young and for taking on the task of 
even having the courage to put your story out there. You said this is about you. And you know, we as women, we have a fear actually of being vulnerable, of letting people see who we are, of letting people hear our stories and it's our stories that really free us up you know telling our stories frees us up and it also frees up other people who hear it because they're like well you know somebody else has been through this too and if they can do it i can do it too yeah so what is it that you hope to do with your book now that you have it written is it just the fact that you've got it written yeah and that's not and that's not right. to discount that at all because for many of us that's huge yeah. i was happy when i got mine done that was all i wanted to do yeah. you know? <laughs> so i'm actually i actually want to work with men and women okay because men go through things in silence absolutely just as much as women yes so I was always told what happens in this house stays in this house. We're going to break that. If you're going through something at home and you need to talk about it, you need to talk about it. Exactly. And then when you get older, you have all of that bottled up. Yes. So that that actually happened to me. I ended up in a psych ward. Mm -hmm. I went and got myself checked in. I was in there for seven days because I had all of this stuff on me. Mm -hmm. And I really didn't talk to nobody about it. So it was just like... Oh, she's about to explode. Yes. Like a yes. like pop. Like, when you shake that exactly. top and open the top, it explodes. It explodes. So, you know, every little thing would irritate me and tick me off. Right. So, yeah. And that's you where like, I am you, were, you felt like emotionally you just were not at a stable place where mm-hmm. you wanted to Emotionally, be. mentally. Yes. I even tried to commit suicide mm-hmm. and all of that. See? And you know, what she's saying, women, you know, is is nothing new to us, but it demonstrates just how fragile and how quickly fragility can just push you to a place where you just feel as though there's no hope. There's 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 no reason for going on. And doing something like this is so cathartic. Being able to write down your feelings. You know, and I know doing something like this will help you in what you're trying to do with your business as well. Because when people see you and know that, you know, well, she's being vulnerable and she's opening up, maybe I can open up too. And she may be able even to help me to get through some of these things. That's wonderful. Well, I'm so glad that you realize your value and know that you have a place here on earth that can't nobody else take the place of. Yep. And I tell my women that all the time. It's your imprint, you know, that is so important and it's unlike anybody else's. And it can only do what God has designed you to do. So that imprint is needed. You are needed. And I'm I'm so excited. And I'm gonna we're gonna make sure to keep up with her, find out what else she's doing, you know, so that we can continue to support her in all that she does. Because I think she's budding on an absolutely fantastic journey um, with her book and with the business that she's starting. So I'm excited about that. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to mentor too. Because these are the women who become the risers, right? And the cycle goes on and on and on. So tell us how we can get in touch with you, where you um, are on social media, yeah. and I'll include it in the notes here too. On okay. Um, on Facebook, I have my personal page, Katera Monet Williams. Okay. Um, my page for my book is From Broken to Healing. Okay. My IG is Tara underscore 1125. Okay. All right. So if you didn't hear all that or if you missed some of it, don't you worry because it's in the notes here. We're going to be sure to have it in here so you can get in touch with her for sure. Absolutely. So what is it, you know, what is it that you just want to say? What advice can you give to anybody who, you know, is kind of teetering in my mind? I got some thoughts and maybe I don't really want to put them in a book. You know, Maybe I'm feeling like I, I really don't. I don't see a reason for going on. Just what can you do? What can you say to encourage the Um, What I'll say is do it. Mm-hmm. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Because yeah. whatever you went through will help somebody that might go through it. Absolutely. The generation under us. Even I've had older women where I live talk to me 
about when they read my book and said it helped them. Yeah. So they're in their seventies coming to a twenty-five year old saying how much mm, I've helped them. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. And that shows you that what she's dealing with is is not unique to any specific age, right on yep. you know, if we have not been there, um, some of us are still dealing with it because we're at a we're at a different stage. You know, yeah. you're starting out yeah. and kind of finding that perfect place. Mm -hmm. And this is a, an ideal time, I always say, for younger people. And for some of us, uh, you know, the risers, we've been at this for a while and we're still looking for our, our ideal place, mm -hmm. still looking for that purpose. Yeah. And, um, you know, Miles Monroe talks so much about purpose, a uh, 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 minister who's passed on now, mm -hmm. but he was the one who introduced me to purpose. And I know that unless you live a life of purpose, you don't thrive. Right. So um, obviously, you know, you have found purpose even in your hurt and in your pain. And so that healing process is really what's kind of allowed you to get to this point. And that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So have you received any testimonies from the book? I know you already said that somebody has come to you and said that, you know, your book has really helped me. Anything else you want to share that's been going on with the book? No, no. No. This um, conference this yes. is all new to me. Yes. This is my first time traveling by myself. Oh, my goodness. Look at so, that. Um, you see... Yes, <laughs> and you're doing wonderfully. Yeah. I heard you speaking yesterday. Oh, I was she was giving an aha moment, and she did just fine. I don't care what she says about being. Well, I never talked on stage before. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so why don't you share with us what was your aha moment yesterday? What was it that you took away from the conference? Yes, I know. There's. Let me tell you, <laughs> we have been filled to the brim. The speakers have been Amazing. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So if you could just tell, remember, or anything you want to say at all about the conference, period. What are you taking away? That's what Everything that's being said, yeah. basically. <laughs> but my aha moment was with the CTR media. Your mm. book is a podcast. Yes. So I'm like, oh, because, you know, some people don't like to read or don't like actually physically read it. So yeah. you can talk about it mm -hmm. and people can listen because I'm one See. of those, like I said yesterday, I'm one of those people that don't like to read. That's right. That's yeah. right. And I, that's read, I wrote the yesterday. book and didn't read it. <laughs> she, said, she said, I wrote this thing and I haven't read right. it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was an honest, transparent moment. I wrote it and ain't read it. <laughs> but it's okay because she knows what's in it. Yeah, I know. I know what's in it. I had to deal with it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so, so much for thank being you. here with us today. You are truly a breath of fresh air and you make us have some hope for women coming up. You know, that whole transparency piece and the piece about not just helping you, but doing something that's going to help others yes. is phenomenal. And so I am so tickled that you were here with me today. So tell us the name of your book again. Um, it's From from Broken to Healing. You can, well, I'm in the process of changing stuff. So Taria said don't use Amazon. <laughs> so for now, you can go to Amazon and order it. Yes. But in the future, we gonna, that may change yeah, up a bit. Yeah, it's going to change. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Now, something else I always ask people before they head out, I always recommend um, tools that women may want to use. And sometimes people recommend Facebook groups or other books or their books or anything. Are there any tools that you have used? In, and sometimes, you know, people recommend things that they use to help them in business, like Canva or... I just put a blanket statement. Any tools at all that you think could help women that you want to recommend? Um, so like tools, we we are saying get yeah, anything. To start writing or yeah, whatever. to start writing or you know a book that could be helpful for them to help to get them in the right mindset. We've already talked about your book. You know that's one yeah. thing. Or um, other Facebook groups. I know recently I had someone on who uh, dealt with um, mommies, you know, young mommies trying to juggle it all. And she recommended some Facebook groups for that. So, you know, just anything. Playlists. People love to recommend playlists. I have a Zen playlist that goes along, you know, with one of my journals. So, um, 
if you do, great. If not, you know, we've got your book. Yeah, y'all for sure. Y'all can go get it from broken to healing. There you go. Um, what yes. else? Journal. Journal. Absolutely. I have a playlist of praise and worship music. Mm. And I really don't have any other tools because I had a circle of people that seen what I was going through and helped me yes. get to it. Yeah. That's a tool. So support groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Find yourself a support group, which is exactly what she's saying. Mm -hmm. Your tribe will make all the difference in the world in, in your survival in many instances. So, yeah, that, yep. you listen, those are awesome tools. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank I was, you so I'm much. glad I was here. I am too. I am too. <laughs> so you guys go out and find her book. Make sure that you listen to Katara. Katera. Katera. There mm -hmm. I go. Katera. Well, everybody calls me right. both, and I answer them both, but it's pronounced Katera. Well, that's like Alethea, too. Let me tell you, we get some interesting pronunciations yeah. for that, too. So I told I my mom it. I should have had an I in my name. Yeah, that's and they it. Get air. 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 There air you up. go. There you go. Well, Katera, we're happy to have you today. Thank you. You all watch out for her book, all right? And we'll let you know when this is coming up. So you can encourage your audience to listen. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hello, hello, everybody. I am Dr. Tina J. Ramsey, and I want to share with you about CTR Media Network. Have you heard? CTR Media Network is a new standard of podcasting with over 30 plus podcasters. We reach 350 million global listeners worldwide in over 50 plus countries across all major podcasting and social media platforms. We have featured over 1,000 guests. What we specialize in is helping business owners, entrepreneurs, coaches, and fellow podcasters expand their visibility on our platform. We're all about positioning with disability connections and teaching you how to monetize what you do. Let me tell you something. If you're a business owner, we have sponsorships opportunities. We have commercial slots. We also have opportunities for you to be a featured guest on any of our shows. So what are you waiting for? CTR Media Network is who we are, and this is where you need to be. So go to ctrmedianetwork.com and click our store feature so that you can, you can see which opportunity fits your life and your budget so that we can get started working with you today. Loft. Welcome to the loft. Today with us, we had Katara Monet Williams. And I wanted to make sure that you knew how to get in touch with her. Such a breath of fresh air. She has written a book entitled Broken to Healing. And you can get that by contacting her. On Facebook, she's at Katara Monet Williams. And on Instagram, she is at Tara underscore 1125. Her email is purposehealing97 at yahoo.com. And the resource that she recommends, that she recommends as I get tongue tied there, is Broken to Healing, her book. And to you, I want to recommend getting anything at all. No, let's go move on. Welcome to the loft. I was very happy to have with me today Katera Monet Williams. She is such a breath of fresh air and definitely a person that we risers can learn from. All right. So, what I would like to recommend in the loft is that you get out and engage with someone that you can pour into. Engage with someone that you can actually impart wisdom to. Perhaps it's a youth group. Perhaps it's a Facebook group where you can mentor other women. They have a wealth of knowledge to gain from us, and we can learn something from them as well. Now, if you need to get in touch with Katara, Katara, and I recommend that you do. You can reach her on Facebook at Katara Monet Williams or on her Instagram page at Tara underscore 1125. 
If you're interested in ordering her book, that is the resource that she wants to recommend in the loft today. And the name of her book is Broken to Healing. Her email address is purposehealing97 at yahoo.com. Reach out to Tara Katara and make sure that you connect with another young lady that you can impart wisdom to. And that's it for today. Okay, we've reached the end of the episode. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen. As you catch the elevator down, if you feel so inclined, rate, review, subscribe, and share with a friend. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Remember, every day is a new opportunity, and it's never too late to level up.